Hey folks, welcome back after the holidays to Google number 11. Today we're going to look at something called Google Docs. You're going to like it, I think. It's a free way to use documentation and other things we'll look at later, but uh, without paying for Microsoft Office. Office is a fantastic, fantastic program. However, 85, 95% of it is not needed by normal human beings. Uh, in other words, to write a letter, to do a document, to do a book, to do a will, to do a whatever you want to type, Docs has it. Google Docs has it. So, let's take a look at that and also a flashback to keep. First, for our flashback, I just opened up Google Keep, where we were working and playing a week or so ago, and having fun in there, I guess. Maybe it was a couple of weeks ago, and I hope you had a great Christmas and having a happy new year now that it's 2020. Uh, by the way, I've already recorded this once before Christmas, and I was going to keep it and then release it uh, when I'm releasing this one now, but geeks make mistakes. So I uh, recorded it, and I didn't do a sound check first, and I didn't have the microphone plugged in. So you saw me talking and showing you stuff, but no miking. And I don't like doing voiceovers because I can't time it right, so I'm just doing it all over now. So let's watch as we take a look first at Google Keep, because somebody wrote me this week, and I won't mention any names, and said, Ron, you told me you took pictures of the historical markers and put it into Google Keep and grabbed the text off of it. It didn't work for me. And I'm like, well, it works for me. So I've grabbed a couple and I'm going to show you. So let's try it. What I'm going to do is create a new note and I'm going to grab an image. Um, I grabbed a couple of them. Just put them on here to show you. I've got them in this folder. I'll grab the larger one just to show you. Click it open. Here it is, Mount Pleasant near my home. Uh, here's all the information, Department of Historical uh, resources 2001 this was put out let's see what it can grab so I'm gonna go down here and click the three dots and I'm gonna say grab image text and image text grabbed so let's take a look at it I'll just click here on the note and scroll down look at this Mount Pleasant venerable stone dwelling exemplifying traditional Shenandoah Valley domestic agriculture architecture agriculture let's scroll down and see if it got this Remodeled at that time, 1826, and the interior was remodeled at that time. Department of History, Historic Records, 2001. I bet that's there. Look, all in caps. 1826, and the interior was remodeled at that time. Department of Historical Resources, 2001. So I don't know what happened to the person that wrote, but that's how you do it. And it works okay for me. I've taken lots of pictures, even blurry ones, and it'll sometimes work. So there you go. I hope that helps. Now, let's get on to Google Docs. I'm going to click up here in Google, and I'm going to go here to, I could go to Docs, uh, and as a matter of fact, you know that experiment we just did, I could actually take this and watch this, copy to Google Docs. It will not open it right up. It'll copy it in there, and it'll ask me if I want to open it. Now, I'm going to just say no, uh, and then I can go to Google Docs two different ways. I can go straight to Docs, and these are documents, or I could go to the Drive, Google Drive, where all of my documents are stored. Uh, I'll try it both ways and show you. Here's Docs. Click it. Here are my Google Docs. Look. Here's the one that I just popped in. You've seen this work before, so I can click it and open it like that. And it shows me the picture, too. So I could take care of this. I can uh, do whatever I want, click below it. I can type in here, doing whatever I'd like. I can center this or justify this, just like that was. Now, you're looking here and saying, well, why doesn't this text go all the way across? If you notice, it copied it just like this was, and it put a break after every word in that graphic it grabbed. So you would have to do some editing, and the editing would be just to click next to it, hit space, delete. That would pull it up. But 
you'd have to do it everywhere. And it's just kind of a pain. And, uh, you know, but, you know, you didn't have to type it, did you? So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how quickly I could do it. And there's probably an automatic way to do this, which there is in Word. You can very easily do it in Word. I'll have to check that and see if any of you are interested. But now that it's here, I could also go up here and select it and go up to my alignment tabs. And let's talk about those for a minute. Center alignment centers each line. Right alignment lines everything up on the right margin. And this one called justify. It's just like this sign is, kind of. It makes all the sides run even. Uh, there must be a spacing issue here. Yeah, there we go um, on that one. And if you notice what it does, it lines up the sides flat on the right and the left. Now, I could copy that, and then I could copy this and say, well, center this part. And I could say, you know what? I can click Enter here. It's just a document. You can do whatever you want to it. And I'll just click it and say center this line. So we've got that. And I can add a space, whatever you want. And it's just got some free space down here. I can delete that if I want to. So there you go. Simple as that. Um, you know, what can I say? It's good stuff. You can go in here then and you could say I want to highlight Mount Pleasant. Bold it. I can italicize it. I can change the color if I want to, to blue. Uh, I can do whatever I want in here. I could also say, now I'm going to make this up, so I don't know if it works or not. I'm going to try AugustaCounty.gov as a link. So I can actually go up here, and there's other ways to do this, but I can say insert a link right here. And I'm going to try HTTPS colon slash slash, or whack whack for you smart people, uh, geeks, not smart people, uh, AugustaCounty.va.gov. Is that it? Maybe it's .gov.va. Let's see if that works. So I can click it, and it'll say, okay, here's the link you put in. Now let's see how badly I did. Ha <laughs> ha, site can't be reached. So what I'll do is, watch this. I'll do Augusta. This is like real life. This is the way I do things. And you probably do too. Augusta County, Virginia. And let's find their website. Here it is. Co.Augusta. So I can grab that, copy it, close it, and then go back over in here. I can edit with the pencil and just paste it there and click apply. Now if I go to test it, click it, I'll go right to the right place. Big deal. I could have done... Uh, Rockingham County would probably have been better with this one, but I wasn't thinking real well. So anyway, there you go. Uh, that's how you can deal with it. And also, it pre-titled this. If we didn't send this from Google Keep, the title up there would, I think, be New Document, and it would stay that way or something like that. But to change the title, uh, you just click up here. By the way, this is Google Keep Document because we sent it from Keep, so it just puts that on there. I can select this, and I could say Mount... Pleasant historical marker, if I wanted to. And I could change that MT to a lowercase t. Has that click off of it. And you know what? In Word and uh, LibreOffice and OpenOffice, which are all freebies of versions of uh, Microsoft Office, not made by Microsoft, um, you have to save every time you change something. In this one, every time I click something, Hi, and then I close it if I want to. It's already saved every time you click a line. Watch this. I'll open it back up now. It's just reshuffling. Open it. There's my document. Scroll down, and there's my hi. If you notice, I didn't save anything. You don't have to. I can change the size of this graphic like that. I can tell it how to wrap text when I click on it. If I click off of it, you don't see anything. But I could say, okay. This is going to be printed on 8.5 by 11. I want to wrap the text around it. Click. There it is. So the reason it's a little low is I can get up here and delete some lines. can change all that kind of stuff. It's really cool what you can do with this. And I can also change the margins around it. So it separates the picture from the text a bit. Quarter inch. And I would probably say eighth of an inch would be good. And that just puts a little gap between your graphic 
and the text. And you're saying like, well, gee, it broke off one line. Well, you can cheat it a bit, make it a little larger until it finally looks right. That didn't help at all, did it? Or another way to cheat it would be to copy the text like this and say instead of a 11, make it 10. That could make it zoom in a bit too. So just keep it in mind. That's the way it works. And the reason this is off-centered is because it's attached to the picture. So we could just hit it right align it over here, and I probably would if I was doing a document like this. And I, of course, would bold it because I'm just that way. I might go in and underline one of them. Uh, you just look up here for your different items that you need. Normal text, you can make headings, options. Uh, and I said I was looking for underline, so I'll go right here to the underline U. Click it. Now it's underlined. Simple as that. Add links, add pictures. Uh, you can add comments. Uh, more. You can figure all that out later. And here's some of your line adjustments. You can number columns and all that. So that's how you do it, is creating a document. You can type whatever you want. There's another thing we can do here. Uh, I notice every time you make a change, it says all changes saved in Drive. Every change you make is automatically saved in Drive. Last edit was seconds ago. Watch if I hit enter. That'll disappear for a second, but it saved it just that fast. So you don't have to hit save on anything. Now, another really neat feature. You're going to love this. You know, when we looked at... Um, Google Keep before, I told you that you could dictate your notes to it. It would do a few seconds. And that if you had something longer to do, I will show you how to do that in a week or two. That week or two is here. Watch. Go to Tools. Go to Voice Typing. Yes. Or you could do Control-Shift-S. I don't remember all those keystrokes. And just click on Voice Typing. And look, click to speak. Now watch what happens. Hello, this is Ron Doyle. I'm just uh, showing you how this document works. Uh, I recorded W226, the Mount Pleasant mile marker located in Mount Pleasant, Virginia. Um, it's a really neat feature, period. Next line. The cool thing about this is that, notice the next line didn't work, but watch if I say it again, it probably will. Next line. You don't have to yell it. Let's say new paragraph. Ah, that one worked. So now it's recording everything I say. So anything you dictate will go on and on. I have never tried this on my phone, period. However, semicolon, I have tried it with my computer and it works pretty well. Hey, notice how well semicolon worked. So this is not perfect. New paragraph. In the perfect world, everything would be done perfectly. I'm sorry, I'm looking at it as I'm dictating, and I'm just making stuff up. So that's the way you can do it, and you can experiment. You can try, it should go to period, new line. There you go, new line. Maybe you have to have a period, then new line. Period, new line. That's it. So you have to put in a period, then you can say new line, and it'll pop it in there. Let's see about new paragraph. That one doesn't require a period. Isn't that interesting? So you can play with this and just dictate your heart's content. To cut it off, you can just go over here and click it. It goes off. You can click up here and see some things you can do here, the outline and everything. It now cut it off. So if you wanted to dictate more, You'd have to click here and go to voice typing and do it. It's not an automatic on. But it works fairly well. You can see, whoops, exactly what I did here. Um, you, I do not dictate my documents, all right? I think it's cool. I think it's really neat. But I'm not a great proofreader. And when I do my stuff for the newspaper and magazine articles and stuff like that, uh, I don't dictate because I have to go through and carefully check for mistakes. Um, I've got an embarrassing one. I'm not going to tell you. If you really care, you can write me and see. But I'm not going to tell you what happened. But one time I was dictating and uh, putting something in there that was kind of humorous, and it came out to be rather embarrassing. It just transcribed some words incorrectly. So 
Just keep it in mind. It's there. You can dictate. You can make long notes, short notes. And I'd like one of y'all to try it if you ever have to go to a lecture or something. Uh, now, don't do this. I was just going to – the thought just hit me. You could try it at church and see if you could transcribe the preacher's sermon. Wouldn't that be cool? Or in a class or something like that. Uh, I've never tried that with my phone. I think it would work. It seems reasonable as long as you could hear the person speaking pretty clearly. So anyway, that's that for now. Next, I'm getting near the end of my 20 minutes. I want to share with you. There's a couple other little things I want to show you. Uh, one is, watch how to open this from Google Drive instead, and I'll show you something else about Google Drive. Uh, I just thought of something else I want to share with you. Look down here at the right. If this goes longer, you can just hate me for 30 seconds. Um, if you go down to the lower right and do Explore, it searches your document for information that it can find about topics. You can check more, but it's given us three here. So semicolon, I wrote that, a song by Nave. I've never heard of Nave. Augusta County in Virginia, Mount Pleasant. I can click this. They have to be on the Internet for this to happen. This are, these are websites about Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Mount Pleasant TV series. Never heard of that one. Um, images of Mount Pleasant may be in our area. Doesn't look like many of them are. And Drive, that's what's on my Google Drive about Mount Pleasant. So that's the way that little search feature works and you can hit the arrow here it'll take you back to where you were you can close it and uh, pretty neat like that so to get back to my drive all I have to do is click on this and it takes me right back to my docs location and then I can click this arrow here and go to docs sheets slides forms I'm probably gonna spend one session on sheets and slides spreadsheets and presentation slides, similar to Microsoft Project, and Sheets are similar to Microsoft Excel. Yeah, for free. And Forms, something you don't want to mess with in Microsoft. They have it, not friendly, in my opinion. So, here's where I get to my drive. I can click on that. It shows me all of the stuff in my drive, quick access or things I've done recently. I had an untitled document here for some reason I didn't mess with. Other things I've done. I can open this up and see folders I've made for the Google class. Let's check that and see what I've put in there. Nothing, but I can move this to them. I can click on this and I can say, I right clicked on it and I can say, uh, move to. That's what I can say. I couldn't find it. And I can say, okay, move it to my drive, Google Class, and say, move here. So it pulls it from this location and puts it there. Uh, I might be able to do all of them at the same time. If I right-click and I move to Google Class, and I don't want to get notifications, so I'll cut that off. Let's try this again. And move to Google Class and say move. So now if I go in here to my Google Class, I've now got those documents. So I can move them to different folders. I can create new folders, upload files, upload folders, create new Google documents from here if I want to just do a blank or from a template. So that's one thing I wanted to show you in here about Google Drive. Uh, the other thing is a really cool setting, especially on a notebook computer, uh, but I would just set it up on all of my computers. I think if you do it in the system, it's done for all. Um, I think it's done by computer now that I think more about it. If you go up here to the settings, click on that, and go to settings again. This is the gear icon that takes you to settings. And there's a really important one. It says offline. Create, open, and edit your recent Google Docs sheets and slide files on this device while offline. So what that does is, you don't do it on public computers, uh, you can open it up. Let's say you're uh, traveling and you don't have the internet where you are, but you want to write something. You want to check on some finances in your spreadsheet on Google. You have that button checked, it saves it to your local computer, and as soon as you all get back on the web, it syncs it. 
and it puts it up in the cloud to take care of it there. That's a good one. Um, another one you might want to do is convert convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. It'll allow you to edit. Uh, it'll pull in uh, Word files in their format and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can manage apps going here. Uh, they've been connected to Drive. Ooh, Google Collaborator. Oh, I know what that does. I've just never used it. So you can go in here and look around for all types of things. But again, settings on that gear and create it so that it'll save those, whether you're online or offline. You don't have to worry about it. And there's some other items you can click in here for notifications and all that kind of thing, manage apps. So have a good time until next week when we'll look at Whatever tickles my fancy. Oh, wait. I've had some emails come in with a list of items that people would like to look at. We're going to cover them all. Uh, I made a list here, so I'm going to look down. For Jim, he asked for Duo. So we're going to look at Duo. That's going to be a tough one. I'll need somebody to talk to while I'm doing the session. Maybe you, Jim. Write me and let me know. The other one came from, I don't know the email address, Days72. I don't know who you are. You didn't sign your name. That's okay. Uh, you asked for alerts. Excellent suggestion. I hadn't thought of those much, uh, but I use them all the time. Google Chrome, uh, Google Maps, we already talked about some, and Google Photos. Excellent suggestions. We're going to look at all those and more in the coming weeks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.